Okay, here's everything that happened in medicine and healthcare today, and it is August 22nd. Starting us off, Ozempic has decided to cut its prices from $1,000 to $500. However, it's only if you're paying cash. So you can actually pay them directly, or you can go through a company like GoodRx, and they'll ship it to you directly if for some reason you can't get approved by your insurance. It's now just a little bit cheaper. A federal judge has announced that CVS now has to pay a $290 million fine for overcharging Medicare for their prescription drugs. The court found that the total damage is equal to about $100 million, but they found based off some previous acts that they could charge up to three times that amount for penalties. The American College of Obstetrics and Gynecologists have now announced that they're going to be recommending the COVID-19 vaccine for individuals even during their pregnancy. This makes the second major medical organization, along with the American Academy of Pediatrics, to support the COVID-19 vaccine against the CDC's current recommendations. Researchers for a long time have been using mini brain-like structures in order to test how drugs work on the brain. However, the problem is they all kind of stuck and clumped together. So now they're starting to use a common food additive in order to help separate it. It's just xanthan gum. Supposedly, it kind of helps keep everything separated and means that they now have a lot more vesicles or kind of different plates to use in order to do their research on, which is going to make it a lot easier, a lot more effective, and a lot more cost efficient moving forward. It's crazy to think that something just simple as that was able to make a big breakthrough in neuroscience. If you want a more in-depth analysis, you can find that on the Substack, or if you just want daily updates, you can also find that there. I will see you tomorrow for a weekly review of the news, and I'll see you later.